safety know they're going to have to work together to get it. Despite the tangled traffic, it just seems like it gets worse and worse and cramped driving surface. I drive across it and this to me is scary. The Brinsman's Bridge still has the power to bring people from two different sides together, even a Republican governor and a Democratic one. The documents that we will be signing, uh, we believe will position us uh, in, in a perfect position to get the money that we need and to start construction. The recently passed Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act tells us that we don't just have a chance. I'm pretty sure we're going to get this done. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine and Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear signed a memorandum of understanding. It basically puts both states on the same page and in agreement on all things related to getting federal infrastructure funds for the companion bridge to the Brent Spence. How big is this agreement? Well, let's put it like this. This is the biggest day that's happened in this project in two decades. Mark Polanski is president of OKI, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana Council of Governments. They've been a part of the process for years. The states will ask for $2 billion of the projected $2.8 billion needed to build a companion bridge, along with upgrades to the current bridge and the interstate approaches on both sides. With Democrats and Republicans working together, the Brent Spence is not only spanning a gap for vehicles, but for some things that have nothing to do with drivers. Yeah, now, so uh, they're talking about all this with no tolls. Now, this is very important that both states come together on this. The federal government wants to know that there's going to be no division, who pays for what, that sort of thing. It also divides this up. Instead of $2 billion to one state, it's $1 billion for each state. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.